First of all, we have to think what is pre diabetes? Pre diabetes is a stage when patient having a little bit derangement in a sugar metabolism but still not developed diabetes. How you can diagnose? Usually, when fasting sugar is between 110 to 126 and post pandemic sugar is between 140 to 200, and average sugar HbA1c from 5.7 to 6.4, that stage is a pre diabetes. This is the stage where we can have a maximum benefit in person's life what we can do in this stage we don't need any medicine we can have a medicine but we don't need any medicine what we can do we can go for regular exercise 45 minutes a day at least five days in a week aerobic as well as aerobic anaerobic and in exercise at least two days we have to go to gym to strengthen our muscles and powerful muscle will reduce insulin resistance and helpful in controlling the sugar metabolism Second thing, we have to do regular meditation, yoga, asana, pranayam, etc. What happens in meditation and pranayam? Meditation and pranayam will cool our mind, calm our body, and reduce the stress hormone. Ultimately, whenever there is a reduction in stress hormone, all body metabolism will be improved, and even sugar as well as blood pressure is also improved. It also helpful in cholesterol and lipid metabolism, etc. In addition, what we can do? We can have a good diet control. We have a small frequent meal. We have a proper balanced food. Less carbohydrate, less than 50% of calories should be from carbohydrate. And more protein intake, at least 35, 40, 45% of calorie intake from protein. 10 to 15% of calorie intake from fat. And we have to add fiber in form of fresh vegetables, leafy vegetables, fresh fruit cuts that will help to reduce sugar absorption from the body and we have to do regular checkup of our body we have to go to doctor, we have to do HbA1c, fasting sugar, post prandial sugar, lipid pro profiles, thyroid profiles, uric acid these are the all metabolic parameters that derange in a metabolically disturbed person that can lead to pre-diabetes to diabetes so all metabolic parameters should be controlled by this lifestyle modification in pre-diabetes also we have a good medicine available like metformin we can use but we have a good option of lifestyle control in pre-diabetes so we can prevent the person to convert from pre-diabetes to diabetes What is important thing? Lifestyle, yes. Medicine, yes. Exercise yoga, yes. Regular checkup, yes. We have to check our organs, yes. First of all, lifestyle. Among lifestyle, we have to daily go for exercise 45 minutes a day and at least 5 days in a week. In exercise program, anaerobic as well as aerobic, both exercise will be included. Second thing, we have to do daily yoga for at least 30 minutes. Maybe pranayam, maybe meditation, maybe omkar, or whatever form of yoga or asana we can perform. Third thing is we have to enjoy our hobbies. Whenever we enjoy our hobby, our stress will be released and that will be helpful in our discomfort. Lifestyle modification is necessary, but without doctor we can't do anything. So we have to check our blood pressure, blood sugar, our weight, our BMI regularly, and we have to visit our doctor regularly. Whenever we patient having a medicine prescription from doctor, the person has to take medicine regularly without fail, without taking the schedule according to doctor. Okay. The initial stage we have to go for laboratory investigation including hemoglobin, kidney function, liver function, thyroid function, cholesterol, uric acid, urine microorganism, etc. In addition to laboratory, we have to check our protein, fundus we have to check to prevent uh, eye damage. We have to check our foot, biosystematry as well as polia scan as well as encobacular index to prevent peripheral arterial disease. We have to check uh, our kidney regularly, creating a microorganism to prevent any kidney damage. We have to check our cardiogram or echo or kidney test whenever we have a little bit issue or even though we do not have any issue regarding to heart. So, 
each and every step, each and everything is very very crucial whenever we have a diabetes and we want to control diabetes. Just controlling the sugar is not enough, we have to look at all parameters. So specifically, each and every culture and individual have a different type of food pattern. But in general, there should be small frequent meal at, at the interval of 2 to 3 hours or 3 to 4 hours. So at least 5 to 6 small small meal patient have to take. Second thing, content of food is also very important. What proportion of carbohydrate, what proportion of fat, what proportion of protein, what proportion of fiber he is taking. So in general, in our Indian pattern, we are consuming more than 70% of carb, less protein and more fat. But that should be changed. Our carb intake should be less than 50% specifically. Our protein intake should be more, more in form of 30, 40, 45% and 10 to 15% of calorie should be from fat. Apart from carb, we have a complex carbohydrate and simple carbohydrate jaggery honey etc etc that raise sugar immediately in birth that should be avoided but in instead of that complex carbohydrates like uh, whole grain rotis and chapatis and uh, mm, uh, whole flour noodles etc etc we have to take more in uh, our food same way among proteins we can use a uh, non-veg as well as veg form of proteins in waste form of protein we have pulses, in non waste form of protein we have a meat, fish, chicken etc etc. Among fat, we should use uh, judiciously oil, ghee, butter etc. Okay? And we have to add fibers in form of vegetables and food in each and every meal so our sugar absorption and calorie absorption will be less and blood sugar will be maintained throughout the day. Whenever person is having a stress, that stress hormone will be reduced and that stress hormone will disturb his sugar metabolism, change his uh, uh, blood pressure, there will be tachycardia, there will be lots of stress hormone change each and every metabolism of body. So that creates lots of issue. Patient forget to take medicine, patient forget to take uh, proper sleep, patient don't go for exercise and so many things happen when there is a stress what to do we have to do regular exercise we have to whenever there is a stress we have to sit in a silent place and take a deep breath having a good form of pranayam omkar etc then we have to engulf ourselves in our personal hobbies like music singing reading etc so whenever there is a stress just try to react or overreact Keep yourself cool and calm and enjoy your work and without doing that your sugar will be disturbed, your disease will be disturbed and all your management will be disturbed. Apart from medicine patient have to change his lifestyle in form of exercise, diet, meditation, yoga, etc, etc. Among diet, there should be balanced diet, exact proportion of carbohydrate, fat, mono and polyunsaturated fat, as well as proportion of uh, proper protein, vitamins and minerals. We have to add vegetables and uh, fruits as a part of fiber in diet that will help in diabetes control. In addition, proper exercise schedule, aerobic as well as anaerobic exercise will helpful in maintaining a proper muscle mass and reducing the insulin resistance. Apart from that, uh, meditation and yoga will help in reducing the stress hormone that will helpful to reduce the blood sugar level, blood pressure level and in general metabolic parameters will be changed and patient's life will be much easier.